Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two of Train Builders. So we get right down to it. We've got the building. I've cut out uh, some more foam board as strips. These are going to be uh, put along the connecting joints here to help cover them up a little bit and to kind of give the, some depth to break up the monotony of just a flat wall. Really easy to do. Now, you can do it a couple different ways. You can try to put the glue on the strip if you want, or you can put it along here, right, along where you want it. Either way works. I prefer to put it along the strip. That way I can put it down. So let's get a little bit on here. Careful, this hot glue gun's obviously very hot. So I'm just gonna put this along here. And I'm gonna put this, line it up, something like that. Cover up this joint a bit, make sure it's kind of flush. Perfect. All right, so that's one. And we're just gonna do this around the edging first off. Let's get another one here. Okay. And this one's gonna go on right like that. Make sure you push it all all the way down, right across, so you don't have any uh, gaps. Right, it doesn't take long to dry. And don't worry, I, I, right here I have a little bit sticking over. We can trim that off right there afterwards, just to even it out. You really don't have to. It is supposed to be kind of a wrecked building in the middle of a war zone. So you see right there, we got just a bit trim. Kind of breaks up, uh, breaks up the corners a bit. Gives you something to dry brush, put some highlighting on when it comes time to paint. And I'm gonna do the same uh, on this corner as well. And basically, it's this is this is just a nice, easy way to add some detail. You can go in into further detail later on. You can add icons. Um, you can add any sort of propaganda. I know back in the day, Games Workshop used to have um, uh, what was it? They used to have printable um, imperial propaganda posters. You print them out, they're really small, then you can glue them to all your buildings. I'm actually trying to find some of those. Haven't yet, but I hope so. I uh, hope to do so in the near future, because uh, I'll be putting those all over the buildings, uh, including the sort of destroyed shrine I have already built. I'll show that in one of the painting uh, things I'll be doing to go along with this particular channel. All right, I'm going to move you over just a bit. And again, as I said, it is a bit hot, so be careful. I actually just got a little on my finger there. Not Nothing horrible, but there we go. So now we've got the two front corners done. And it doesn't matter if they line up or not. We can, we're gonna clean that off before we paint. So we don't have the dry brush picking up anything we don't want to. So there's the two front corners done. Really easy. Um, when it comes to the side, right? You kind of want to line it up sort of right in between the windows. So something like that. Kind of right between the two uh, windows there, right? Add some symmetry to the building. Most buildings are feature symmetry pretty heavily, obviously. You want, look at, you want to look pleasing. And even if this is a destroyed building, at one time it wasn't before who knows what force instigated an attack. I'm just going to put this right in the middle. There we go. Put that down. Right there. And yes, it is sticking up over the side. Uh, you can leave it that way if you wish. Or as I'm about to do, I'm going to just cut it off so it matches sort of the, um, the flow of the building. So just cut through it kind of quickly there just to get it off the building. Probably shouldn't have put glue up that high. Oh well. And there you go. It kind of follows the, let me tighten that, the flow of the building now. All right. And there you go. Easy peasy. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put a couple more here and here. What I'll probably do is just cutting this one off and using the remainder 
on the other side. It's a good way to kind of cut down on time. You're not trying to measure it all out. Just cut it and add the other part there. I've got more than enough. So we'll do that up quickly now. So just do that about part of the way. And it should be more enough to stick it on there. If not, we can always maneuver it around. Oh, got a little extra stuff there. That's not cool. All right. So we got that stuck on there. We'll just give it some pressure. Make sure it sticks properly. And as I said, we're then going to chop this off in flow with the rest of the, uh, the destroyed part portion there. All right? And literally, if we check, look at that. We have more than enough to stick on the next side there. It is a little short, but that's okay. It's a destroyed building. Things, when, you know, buildings are destroyed, the masonry falls away or whatever. If it's made of metal, who knows? It will fall away in unpredictable patterns. So I'm just going to put this on next. Okay, and we're just going to put that up like that. Make sure it lines up a bit. And push it down so we get everything connected so we don't have any real space between the beams there. Like I said, as you can see, it's actually kind of broken away there. It's not even. You can see this one matches and this one kind of goes down an angle. That's fine. You can leave it like that. Uh, again, it's a destroyed building. Right, you don't need to look 100% perfect because it's not going to be. It's been wrecked. It's been shelled. Who knows what happened to this one? All right, and then I'm going to do this one, and it looks as though I forgot to get a piece. So we'll be back in a moment when I find it. All right, and we are back. I got some more uh, stripping there. Uh, start gluing this on. I was gonna do some other stuff. Forgot my knife, so I had to go get that. So long story, but we've got this glued on. And uh, yeah, so this is all just an easy way to add a nice bit of detail to your terrain. It didn't have to be, uh, if you look at all the Games Workshop stuff, it's covered in detail, which is great. It's a little hard to do with you know, foam board or what have you, but still it's great. It's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna see how this works here. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use one of these other ones because I wanna make sure that I'm actually right up to the top there on this one. Not just a bit of me being a perfectionist, sort of. All right, that's on there. And then I'll just line this up. Uh, I got that. Make sure it's all good. And the other thing is on the inside, I actually have some glue that got stuck in there as I was trying to put the uh, the floors in. I'm gonna leave that. You don't try and have to scrape it off. It can, once it gets painted, it'll look like corrosion or maybe you could paint up to look like some sort of, uh, if it's for 40K, Nurgle disease that's creeping through the building slowly. All right, so there's another one on there. And we'll just cut through this just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And now, of course, we have one last strip to put on on this wall right here. Again, we're just going to line it up beforehand, make sure it's kind of centered between the two sets of windows there. Perfect. And I just like to kind of cut off where I'm not going to put the glue. Have the line go down like that. All right. And then we just put this on, try and line it up center between the two windows. There we go, keep it straight. Again, push it down, make sure that you get a, no space in there. You don't want any space, you want to be as close as you can. Again, if glue leaks out, I have a little bit leaking out there, that's fine. You can paint up as rust, corrosion, some Nurgle disease, like I said before, not a big deal. I'm just gonna cut this down. Make it look like it's been destroyed with the rest of it. Perfect, 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 perfect. 
Awesome. Okay, so now we've gotten that done. We've got the the sides here finished off. And there you go. So we're just gonna let that dry a little bit longer and then we'll be back with the next part of this. We'll see you in a few minutes. everybody and we're back so now I actually have the basing done up I've put these uh, pieces of cardboard along the bottom and the top around the edges you still see the outline so when you put the whole thing together all right, you've got a nice little base there that you can have put your your uh, your building on gives it that uh, sort of street wide street view right something to put your models into it looks nice so that is all sort of the exterior stuff we're going to do now now as i said you can uh, add on printed off um propaganda posters or ads or whatever you want but i tend to do that after the painting obviously you don't want to be putting those on and trying to paint around them so that'll be a step for later but so that's everything for uh, this part of episode two. Uh, and so episode three will be the actual painting. We'll all be putting some sand on the base in between the, uh, I guess what's supposed to be the, uh, the, the sidewalk stones. And we'll also be putting uh, some sand just around to kind of give it that dirty look like the city's been in battle for forever and the debris and dust has settled. And of course we'll be painting the building itself and give it sort of a destroyed look, burnt marks, um, you know, try and maybe put on some freehand design, some graffiti or something to make it seem like at one point this was a livable building. So till then, we'll see you guys later and uh, place any comments or questions at the uh, email. They'll be in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.